saved ain't saved. Everybody that say they got a commitment with the Lord don't. See, there's some people who want to go so far. And then when you want to go further, they want to tell you, oh, well, look at you. You think you holier than me? Oh, I'm saved too. Well, my Holy Ghost don't let me do the things that you're doing. My Holy Ghost don't let me say the things that you're saying. My Holy Ghost don't let me walk into the places that you're going. This untoward generation, this generation that says it don't take all that. And if you don't say it with your mouth, you say it with your actions. I'm going to dress how I want to dress. I'm going to do what I want to do because I'm my own woman. I'm my own man. I call the shots. I run my house. But the word of God says ye are brought, bought with the price and you are not your own. And it's a sad thing when we say we sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized, and yet there's still little things holding on to us. I'm not for sure if I want to wear my skirt up here or down there. I'm not for sure if I want to sag. I'm not for sure if I want to pull them up. I'm not for sure if I want to show this. Just all this stuff. These little bitty things. Well, they don't see me. The Metroplex is small. You don't know who know who. And the biggest thing to know that is Facebook. Just think about your friends. Somebody knows somebody that somebody that somebody that somebody know. And then we get on there and we say God one day. And then we got crazy pictures on there the next. And not only do you have crazy pictures. Or you kind of low key throwing darts at people on the Facebook. Well, 